Unless she picks up our team coverage in Wassa with how people are prepping for the snowfall. Natalie. Yeah, Ali, well, we've had some snow this year. We've had a little more time to prepare for that bigger winter snowfall, but that doesn't mean some people haven't taken the time to make some last minute preparations. Winter in Wisconsin. Well, typically snow is a big driver for business. For many area retailers, snow usually means customers coming in to stockpile the essentials. Everyone uh, needs those last minute supplies, scrapers, shovels, ice melt. But while you may think the delay in significant snowfall has given more people extra time to prepare. I think snow is one of those things where no one really prepares until it's it's here and, and uh, it's upon us. And there were certainly customers looking to get in on those last minute preparations, stocking up on items like snacks, winter apparel and outdoor equipment as well. I'm stocking up on some extra animal feed. Sharon Grimm came in from the Athens area to stock up on the essentials. We know we have to have the water heaters running and the blankets ready and a little extra salt and sand and going to get some milk and bread when I leave here. She says her family is ready for a big snowfall. My son is ecstatic because he has seasonal allergies and he loves the winter, so he is super excited. Resident Beverly Gaish also has family members who rely on snow. I have a son that snowplows and he's waiting for this. She says she's stocked up on the essentials too. Everything's ready and set to go. If you're not sure what you need to get ready for the winter weather, Fleet Farm has some recommendations. I think it's better to be cautious, so make sure you know you have a shovel that's in good working order, snowblowers got fresh gas. And don't forget to protect yourself when you head outside. And not to forget about like hats and gloves and things like that, that you might need to when you're out removing the snow. Start removing the snow. Fleet Farm is still open until 8 p.m. tonight if you are in need of some last-minute supplies. Live in Wausau, I'm Natalie Sapila, News 9, WAOW.